Africa. So yes, the seed taken by a woman, she must be the one to carry the seed. That because the female energies, they are female. You and I, we are men. Yes, we have a little to do. You know, women, they have more energy than the men, as I said earlier. Mind you that a man and a woman will go to the farm. They all, they all wake up very early. They went to the farm. They, they all did a very tiresome job. On their way back, the man will, will put the firewood on top of the woman. The woman will carry this firewood back home. As soon as she gets home, she is going to sweep quickly. She is going to the kitchen. You are the four, a and TVGH, and a day. Said a diary and no money, Sazan TV, a year just here. Nay, I disunion, near Bissian. We may be as a DNT, I was here, and there was here, she had the near be arguing. Name say, We are swinging a one. Er, and yet the DNA had not unquan, but be a five years and I who be an hour so nipper as a new one. Now, all the two nagging No, who number one, two years, said a bayer. Say, oh, call by you are what you to pong a homo and no monina. And I about baby, your baby didn't come more about Mario. In fact, so dear, a walk or bar, a nipper bar boom, and I say, we are see we know. In fact, so I was so say, you hear or bar was every as we. In person, myself, baby, be the new chairman, one of my job, walk from car to an assembly bape, near the Jumadina to a trussel. We can have a sister. Yoda for me as I say, why you bring a Mrs. Avery said an amic or namic and Miss Ender, a baby swinger, Mfaso, Mfaso, a what ma, and I say, Mammy, four away a bra boom. You cast a ma, a general, ma simple means woman, Mfaso, a warm muscle. Now, and now, only pay any of a chicken commono, eh, my amic grandmaster, to to sow. I mean, we say, Mubino, I heard the program da, said a mecca down, me say, or you'll be our door. Suko ewo hunhun muni huna muni ya kasi obi ya oya research ya research biya keke inyo obi ya koko he books no wa siya de debi 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 ne mum a devil into spiritual spirituality oko hunhun ria se oko within onu animu na wakwa koko hufi mu di entera ewo asasi weso unfaswa ewo asasi weso eni yeni pa ye timu no na wa diaba be chira afu frontiende sa eni pano eni eni be chuche unkomo inti abeko I guess or near the night to Chunkomo. Now the tennis eh, on Tichi, and see your baby semi Casano. Toby, good afternoon. Afternoon, afternoon. Is how's life? Uh, everything is fine. Yes, yeah. um, I'm doing great. Okay. Mm, you know, like day in, day out, we get different people on our channel, and today may be the first time of someone watching you. So we would like you to mention your name and give us the meaning of your name. Okay, um, my name is Toto Sao Kotobo, and uh, Toto is uh, the two dimension of material world and then that of the spiritual realm. So, and Sao, which means the eternal one, okay. and that is my name, yes, and the sign name is Kotobo. Kotobo, yes. Okay, so I know you are. I would say uh, a professor in spirituality and this physical manifestation as well. And today we are here simply because we want to learn something about women. Always, you know, we have criticism on women. What is the importance of women? Like we have all sorts of understanding on women. 
because of the kind of religion that we have found ourselves in. You know, in Ghana, most of us are Christians and Muslims. So we just came to you today to understand the importance of women. So my first question will be, who is a woman? Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, let me take the opportunity to also uh, thank your viewers for especially your followers for following you up to for following Zion TV up to this time. Uh, okay, a uh, woman. Okay. Woman. Uh, when you come to African spirituality, a uh, woman is a, a very important. Or women are very important in our society okay. because the creator that created the entire universe as we see right. or the one that changes a whole lot of things into itself yeah. uh, or into so many things is is a woman really? so yes so that is why if you come to african spirituality we don't joke with women because the female energy is it's a very high energy for creation for sus sustainability in in this life so women are very important in our society yes so what are the capabilities of women women capability we cannot even <laughs> talk about just women capability but starting uh, when you come to women capability yeah. it's a lot that we cannot even finish so when you look at the whole of this universe it is created by a woman really? yes it is created by a woman so looking at that alone yeah. tells you that uh, it is not just a small task for a woman to you know take upon herself to create the whole of this universe so that alone that capability alone that energy alone that she is having conquers everything so we up to applaud our women for having such an energy and mind you that uh, the female energy that created the entire universe okay. is not different from our women so yes so they have these energies and i will later tell you women have more energy in terms of than the men really for sure Women have more energy than the men. So in this African spiritual arena, when you come to our spiritual centers, you realize that we give a title, the highest title a man can attain in our spiritual centers, women can as well attain that higher height. So when you come to a, a, a fan system, we have Toboko and we have a Noboko. So they are the same rank. No one is higher than uh, the other so we respect women and we because we know women they are the creator that created the whole universe so we give them that uh, uh, privilege or respect so uh, it's, it's a lot it's a lot for women to be able to create the entire universe that alone conquers we cannot even talk about capability this that did no okay so one may ask are women supposed to be pampered you see when we take good care of women, it means that create, creation is going to continue in a very good way. So if you mishandle a woman, a woman is living in pain, in sorrow, agony, in tears, it means that there's going to be stagnation. There's going to be a problem for growth, for differentiation. There's going to be a problem for development. So there's going to be a problem of a, a rhythm. There's going to be a problem of division, addition because all of these energies are women are for women yes so the energy of multiplication addition subtraction what have you these are all energy of a woman so and the energy of creation energy of transformation energy of vibration energy of reading these are all energies of a woman so you can't take it away from them yeah okay so you know if you come to our african homes like this modern african homes mostly we give a lot of the higher rank to the men the question i'm going to ask is uh, who is the head of a family 
Well, uh, in African perspective, okay. uh, I just told you that uh, when it comes to our spiritual centers, yeah. you see Tobokon and you see Nobokon. Okay. That alone should give you the clear view that uh, we don't relegate women at the back. Okay. Rather, we give them the same privilege that men are going through, have. Yeah. So, in the houses, men and women have the same rank in African spirituality. We don't have to say women and men are at the upper and women are under them. It, it, it is not so. These teachings came from the foreign cultures. It is not in our spiritual system. Not at all. Yeah. Okay, let me ask this question. Uh, this question seems to be weird. Uh, but I have to ask, why do women uh, menstruate? <laughs> well, uh, it's a very big one because uh, you see the Creator yeah. must go through a cosmic cycle. Yeah. And this cosmic cycle is a change of growth, it's a change of shape, it's a change of development, differentiation. So what women go through during the cosmic cycle, it is the result of continuation of creation. If at the end of the day, uh, no one will be able to go through a cosmic cycle, it means that the whole universe is going to be under a state of stagnation. So for this energy alone, energy of differentiation, energy of growth, transformation, shaping, this men doesn't have because we cannot menstruate, we cannot take seed, we cannot, you know, get pregnant. So these energies are for women. So therefore, women menstruate because they have the highest order of creation. So anyone who can create, anyone who can be able to transform, carry today into the future, these people must be able to have a frequent cosmic transformation. And mind you, this cosmic transformation that women go through, it is the highest energy under the sun. So, in, in, in that case, if you want to undermine a woman, you undermine a whole creation. So, I want to put it across categorically that uh, women menstruate because they carry the energy of continuation of creation. This is what they carry and therefore need to be, we, we have to respect them for that manner. So for a woman to menstruate means a whole lot. Yeah. Okay, Toby, uh, let me ask this question. Uh, you know, if you come to Ghana, I will say this modern Ghana, most of us are Christians, Muslims, and this religious type. And we have this misconception that the creator who is God is a man. Do we have this same conception in African spirituality? Not at all, my brother. Not, not, not at all. I just told you that uh, when we come to our spiritual centers, we have women and men having the same higher rank. So, in the, and I also told you that in the creation story of African, yeah. of Africa, the one who created the entire universe is a woman, not a man. So what other, other religions or societies are saying that uh, God is a man who created the entire universe, it is not true because, now let me, let me, I don't want to go much into it, but then since you ask, uh, we were told that uh, God created the the entire universe and created the trees as female and male, created the bears as female and male, created the animals as female and male. But when it came to creation of a man and a woman, God created man and for, so they say, forgot that he has to create a woman, if and created Adam the third day before he said, oh no, I have to create a woman. And what does it mean? Wasn't it the same God who created the tree as female and male? Yeah. Created the animals as male and female and that of the, the best as female and male? How come when it comes to creation of a man, 
God suddenly forget and created a man. And in the third day, have to say, oh, okay, then put a man to sleep and later have to take away his rib for creation. Oh, God for Creating a man, the whole God forget, uh, forgetting. Uh, in this. That is the reason why in the Christendom, you see them uh, putting women at the back. Because, uh, uh, so they say that uh, some of the verses are even spoke about women should not be at the forefront in terms of so uh, in african perspective we we don't have that god who created the entire universe is a woman so it, it, it was never 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 a man let me ask you how do you call god in your akan language akan language we call god in nyame or chedian pon nyankopon there's another another word you call god yeah but nyankopon nyame there you go, Kwame and Ya. Yeah. So Kwame is a male energy and Ya is a female energy. You understand? When you come to the guns, they, they also say something. They, they say Ata Na, Ata, male energy, Na, female energy. You understand? When you come to the Everest, too, we have Mau, which is Ma, which is the, 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 the female energy, Wu, which is the, the male energy. We also have So, Ba, Lisa. So, which is the male energy, Ba, the female energy. So, looking at this tells you that uh, the creator, female and male energy. So, it wasn't just a, a man creating everything. Yeah. Okay. You know, during your speech, you made mention of yeah, Christians like having this conception that women shouldn't be in the forefront because they have this uh, mind that women do men's streets. That is why they don't normally ask like women to be in the forefront. So let me ask, if you come to African spirituality or I African in general, we have this conception that when a woman is in her menstrual period and she happens to cook for you, it is going to be a bad uh, moment for you do we have this in african spirituality uh, you see for a woman to go through a menstrual cycle it means a lot to her you understand a woman who does not menstruate has a serious problem of growth of differentiation division addition development you know uh, for women to menstruate is a very good thing, as I said earlier, that it gives us hope for creation to continue. So, for, woman, for a woman to menstruate shouldn't be a bad thing. Shouldn't let anybody put them in a state where they will look like forgetting. Uh, women, what they went through is the entire universe. I just told you that... Uh, the, the highest force of female energy or the highest energy, spiritual energy or whatever energy that under the sun is that particular energy for women to, to go through a cosmic cycle. So when they are going through that cycle, they go through a whole lot of energy. See, going through a cosmic cycle is like going through the entire creation going through the animal going through the plant the best going through the human going through the earth going through everything that cycle it means a lot so what they need at that particular moment is in african spirituality we have meditation on that so that is a is a state or time that a woman she has to go within herself to really redefine her energy of birth energy of differentiation energy of development energy of creation so it's unfortunate that uh, today we have lost track on all of this so we have meditation we have initiations on on this particular one because it is going to shape her her womb her transformation because the womb is that she used to transform so it, is, it should never be a bad thing for a woman to menstruate, and nobody should. And as you asked earlier, see, today we have lost the understanding that if a woman is menstruating, we have to 
put hair at the back. We have to, it, sh it should not be so. What they need themselves is just time for them to be able to understand the redemic, the, 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 what they are going through at that, at, at that particular moment. That is what they need. See, going through that menstrual cycle is, is very tiresome something. It is not just a funny thing. Going through creation, the, 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 the very energy that they, they have for, for, for transformation, for birth, it is it's a very serious thing. So we should respect them at that and we should all encourage them because if should the women stop say they, or say that they will not be able to give birth again, they will not be able to take seed again, it means that the whole world will end. You understand? The whole world is going to end if women say enough is enough. We are not going to give birth anymore. So and the energy that gives them chance to, to take seed and give birth is through the menstrual cycle. So we have to respect it. And even the women themselves, they have to know what they are going through. Today is just a menstrual thing that comes and goes. But in African spirituality, a woman must be taken through initiation, a woman must be taken through meditation for her to be able to understand her cosmic cycle. See, let me tell you. The before a woman can be able to bring down a higher souls, I mean higher souls, before she can be able to do that, it means that she must understand her rhythm. She must know how her cosmic transformation, her cosmic cycle is, because it does changes or it do changes every month, every here and then. So we have to educate them on this. It's very important for, for the development of this universe because at the end of the day. It is very see. Uh, let's not disregard women in terms of. And uh, you said in African spirituality, when a woman is menstruating, we say, "Don't cook for me. Don't do this for me. Don't do that for me." So it's not about don't cook for me. The the mindset is because what they are going through is very high energy. They need that time for 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 them to steady. Go within, themselves. go within themselves to be able to capture the, the rhythm of what they are going through. Okay. You understand? But it's unfortunate that today the, the teachings are lost. We don't know what to do again. And our women are just, even they themselves, they don't even know that they are the creators of this universe. They, 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 today you hear a woman saying that a man is the head of the family and she, they, they are just low. No, once you are saying that you have reduced your creative energy. See, I am telling you that the creative energies that we have in this life, in this universe, women's their creative energies are more than that of the women, uh, that of the men. So at the end of the day, we have to encourage women. And these creative energies, they have to know, all of them. And they have to know how to meditate with them, how to handle them so that they can be able to grow faster. See, when it comes to spirituality, women grow faster than the men. So, because they have most of the, uh, the, the spiritual energies around them. So, at the end of the day, I, I think we have to educate them more for them to know that their menstrual cycle is very important. You made mention of uh, when a woman refuses to me uh, menstruate, you know, like because of our food these days, women find it difficult, uh, some women, not all women, some women find it difficult to menstruate. Is there any way to help people who are not menstruating? Meanwhile, they've never got into their uh, menopause. For sure. As I said, the creative energies for women, we have all of them, and we know all of them. And the one responsible for cosmic transformation, the one responsible for taking seed, the one that helps them for them to menstruate, we have. So it is like if there is an issue with a woman in that area, she, what she needs is that energy should be worked on, you understand? If that energy is down, no matter what you do in this life, if you don't hit that point, you will not get it corrected, yes. Okay, let me ask this question. I know during your explanation, you, you, you gave a brief uh, explanation on that. Why do women pregnant? Uh, they, 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 they have to get pregnant because that is, they are the creator. You see, the whole universe, as I said, men give the seed and women take the seed 
they shape it, they transform it, they, 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 they transform it, they grow it, they, they do a whole lot of things with this seed. See, let me tell you, after men, or after us giving women the seed, what goes on, we don't know again, because the creative energy, the female creative energy that she is going to use to transform this child until this child fully grown in the womb for delivery, we don't come down and rescue situations. So our women, there is a need, there is a chance now for you to, to come close, for us to be able to work on your creative energies. Because at the end of the day, the creative energies in this life, women have the most, the highest one, yes. Uh, let me ask this question. Uh, you, you made mention of women being the, the creative en energy they, they create. You know, if you come to this Christian domain, Islamic, you know, religion or the society, we have this conception that there is a seed in women. Meanwhile, during your speech, you, you said men provide the seed for the woman to handle it, reshape it, before we form this human. How, how does it, how is it possible? <laughs> Ye cushing le overview. A me quella mora nu bachi ma vola chitomona bana vola batomo. A me quella mora nu bachi ma vola patonona bana vola batomo. A hoshi vino la o, ye cushing le overview. A hoshi vino nama, a ye cushing le obi, review. A bazaka ya cushing le overview me to way away away and a memoir of the do. You see. This universe, as you see it, we have male energy and female energy. Okay. And the creative seed okay. always comes from the men. Okay. And women receive this creative seed, transform them to become everything as we see today, okay. or seeing today. So, yes, women have the ability to take seed, as you can see. And I said earlier as well that uh, they decide what kind of seed they must take. That is why women must go through initiations. If I say initiation, African perspective, African spiritual system, a woman must go through education for her to be able to know and bring down the highest order so, so that we can be able to transform Africa. So yes, the seed taken by a woman she must be the one to carry the seed. That because the female energies, they are female. Okay. You and I, we are men. Yeah. Yes, we have a little to do. You know, women, they have more energy than the men, as I said earlier. Mind you that a man and a woman will go to the farm. They all, they all wake up very early. They went to the farm. They, they all did a very tiresome job. On their way back, the man will, will put the firewood on top of the woman. The woman will carry this firewood back home. As soon as she gets home, she is going to sweep quickly. She is going to the kitchen, cook. She is going to set the table for this man to eat. She is going to pack this table again. She has to feed the children. She has to let the children bath. After all, she has to go and put uh, water in the bathroom for this man to come and bath. She is doing all of these things and she is tired. Once she is in the bed, to relax, then this man will wake up again. Say, another, "Mommy, another motivational speech." You understand? Okay. So we keep disturbing them, and you see, she went through all this hectic day. But at the end of the day, this night, this man will wake up again. Say, "Mommy, ten well, do this, do that," and after all, she will wake up very early again. Start sweeping the house. Start doing so many. So this energy, this energy, we don't have it. It is only women that have. So women have the highest energy in this life and they must know their energy and they must know how to handle it for their benefit. Let me tell you, if one single soul, if one woman in this country or in Ghana or in Africa today should be able to understand or capture glimpses of her womanhood or her female creative energies, I'm telling you, we will be in a better place. I'm telling you. Wow. Okay, let me ask this question. What will be the consequences of women's anger? Seriously. See, the whole earth, as you see, transformation of earth is coming from a woman. So if a woman should get angry 
for you saying anything or making her angry, whatever she is going to say is, is going to be serious consequences for, for you, the man. So we have to respect them. We have to take very good care of them. We have to make them comfortable. See, if you make a woman happy, you make entire universe happy. So what, what are the kind of training women are supposed to go through before they get to their uh, you know, adolescent or their adulthood? You see, in African spiritual system, it is only today that we think anything Africa is primitive, is barbaric, is satanic, is... is, is I'm so shocked because we are so ashamed of ourselves to even step foot in our own home. We are so ashamed to ourselves that uh, we don't even want to listen to anything African. Why is it that? Why are we so sudden left our own heritage? And mind you, the foreign cultures, they came into this our African continent not less than 200 years ago. But tell me, what are we getting out of it? We are not getting anything. We have been enslaved left and right, and at the end of the day, nothing is happening. Had it been this foreign cultures can transform Africa, we might have been transformed. But we are just going back and going back. Go to Europe, America. What do they have there? Even their streets are so beautiful, so nice than our bedrooms here in Africa. You understand? There is dust everywhere in Africa, in our bedrooms. But if you go to Euro America on their street, there's no dirt. yes, you will not find this thing, this dirt in, in, in their street. Yet they told us that uh, we should hope and pray that uh, have faith in God that one day we'll go to heaven. That if you go to heaven, we are going to enjoy over there. Go where and enjoy. We have life here. That place is only so. You don't go there and enjoy. So why do we have life? And yet we are wasting this life thinking that one day we'll go to heaven. Which heaven? There is nothing called heaven in African spirituality. So we really have to wake up. We have to be conscious of ourselves for us to be able to transform Africa. So let's all come back to the table. Our women, they have a very good educational structure here in Africa that we, they can go through, transform themselves. So it's a whole system. It's a whole system that I cannot even start and finish now so anyone who is interested who wants to know who you are you see how I've been saying this that a fan is, is, is one single thing that if you find it you find everything so today we have been able to re-understand redefine the cosmology the cosmogony of African heritage what we know what we have so let's use this to transform the mind of the African child so that we can be able to so the women we have a very good package for them educational package that they will go through and develop their spiritual consciousness and their spiritual energies for the development of africa let me ask this question uh, today's modern women they solely depend on men why 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 this state today's women depend on men but you guys have said that uh, well, that was education that uh, we have been going through for ages now. That men are the head, they must go and work. At the end of the day, the women must be in the house and, and prepare food and other stuff. But, you know, it is, it is not correct. It is not true. Women, they must not depend on men. If you have the highest creative order in this life, why would you be sitting down there waiting for man to come and do what? So please, let us all think very well. Women, please, you have the more creative energy to go out there and make life and make things happen than depending on men. Okay, okay so, so what is the repercussion for a man who maltreats women? Hmm. Must a man maltreat a woman? That's the question. Must a man maltreat a woman? You, you were giving birth, you were created, you came through a man sorry you came through a woman any man under the sun came through a woman why will you beat a woman once you, you you are maltreating a woman it's like you are maltreating nature so in african spirituality we don't agree we don't accept men maltreating women if you are living with a woman and you are making her go through pain 
place you have to know that you are setting yourself backwards because once you say hmm, hmm, it's disturbing creation it's disturbing you so know for sure that any good thing that you do to a single woman you are doing it to the whole of creation and that you are also part so you will benefit so stop mishandling women stop mishandling women he said Whenever a man maltreats a woman, meaning he's maltreating the whole uh, uh, nature. So you should be mindful of how you treat women. We are going for a quick commercial break. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon. <laughs> Okay, viewers, welcome back to Zion TV once again. We went for a quick commercial break and we are back. Uh, Toby, go. when we are going, we are talking of women, like the importance of women. Like this, this, this question is circulating all over the world. In Christendom, we have this belief that uh, Satan came to Adam, uh, Eve, and you know, confused Eve to eat uh, the tree of life, which is the apple, and Eve also convinced Adam to eat. Because of that, God was so angry. He cares uh, if that from today onwards you are going to face difficulties during your, you know, pregnant pregnancy, and also cares men that from today onwards you are going to, you know, suffer for women to survive on your sweat. How is this whole thing through in African spirituality? <laughs> you thank you, thank you. Uh, as you said, it is in Christendom, not in our spiritual cycle. So we we don't believe that because uh, for God to create Adam and Eve and put a tree there, knowing for sure that if they eat that tree, that fruit, any fruit from that tree is going to bring problem. In African spirituality, uh, God must be that conscious enough not to uh, put that in that garden for his children. Because uh, loving your own creation, your own children, it, it is difficult for African man to understand or believe the story. But then, uh, as you ask, I will try to answer it somehow. Uh, we all heard that story from the Christian cycle. But looking at it carefully, uh, the whole thing started from death by relegating women at the back because the story straightforward pointed a woman that uh, what we are going through today in this life was caused by a woman, which in uh, Africa we don't believe that because woman rather is the creator of everything in this life. So mind you that... Uh, as you, you ask, that the woman was cursed and the man too was cursed. So they say the woman must, once you are going to give birth, you must go through a hard, you know, you must suffer, you must go through pain. I'm not sure that was the case because uh, God cannot, God cannot curse his own loving children. Even if they, they did wrong, he will only advise them and teach them what to do next. So for God to curse a woman that if you are going to give birth, you will have to suffer. You have to go through serious pain. Let me ask you, goat, yeah. they are also giving birth. If goat is going to give birth, they go through serious pain. Yes. But did the goat also eat the apple? No. So that is tautology. There is no understanding in that context. You understand? So looking at it, uh, African spirituality, we don't take it and we don't believe that. So uh, in our case, uh, I think uh, it's just one of those 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 uh, stories. So we, we don't take it. Yeah. All right. Is it by force for a woman to marry and bear a child? That is... Uh, 
creative nature. You know, the creator, as I said, is a woman, still a woman. Creation is continuing because of women. Who is creating? Women. Who is getting the pregnancy? Women. Who is transforming the children? So everything in this life is created by a woman. So creation can only come to an end if women refuse to to create. Yeah. Okay, let me, let me ask this question. Uh, oh, pause it. Pause it, baby. Okay, okay Toby. The, this question that I'm going to ask is far from the topic. And I know we are going to find a day and come out with this topic, uh, comparison between uh, African spirituality and the Bible. Is there any similarity or is there a concoction? You know, in the, in the Bible, we have this misconception i may say it is misconception because of maybe uh, what you've been teaching me that's why i'm coming out with this question that uh, god created heaven and earth and after that he created uh, you know the angels and uh, satan rebel against god god quickly sent satan on, on earth it, I, does it relate to african spirituality hmm. <laughs> you are coming with another big one. <laughs> well, uh, I said that uh, all of that you are asking are not African. So it is, is, it is in the Bible. So we didn't write the Bible. So there is no way uh, African spiritual system will be that unloving. Let me just use that word because what you are asking for, yeah. what you are asking is, is not pleasant. It's not something good. Because uh, for God, in the wisdom of God, uh, see, you are asking Lucifer and God. Well, we all heard the story and in the uh, up there, the so-called up there, they say if God is not around, it is Lucifer that takes care of the other angels and all of that. So, and something, something happened, as they said. And God have to allow Satan to come down to earth. How true is that? We don't know. The, the, the world of the angels, too, we don't know where it is. And see, in the wisdom of God, in the wisdom of God, such thing cannot happen because if Lucifer did something wrong, in the wisdom of God, God could have taken powers from Lucifer and make him useless, make him powerless, so that everything will just end there. But with what you are saying or asking, uh, God have to allow Lucifer, deport Lucifer from heaven to earth. And when Lucifer was coming down here, at the time, the people here on planet Earth, they didn't know anything evil. They were all in paradise, so they said. So they were in paradise. And God allowed Satan to come to Earth. When Satan was coming, they said, you people should be careful that Satan is coming there to you. Let me ask you this question. You are asking all the questions. Me too, let me ask you. Your own children yeah. that you have given birth to, okay. that you have adored, you have loved so much, would you be able to throw something that can destroy them? Uh, for me, I won't make such mistake. Are you sure? No, I won't. So, do you want to say that? So, sorry to ask. Do you want to say that you are that conscious than the the Creator in the Bible? That's what we were we we born to 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 hear. We don't we don't we don't have the exact knowledge. If you are conscious, but did you say you cannot be able to throw something that can no, devour, no, that can no, destroy no, your children? Mistake. You then you must have been that conscious than the Creator in the Bible because look look at it this way: if the Creator who created everything, yeah. God, the Omnipresent, the Omniscient, if He should allow Satan to come down to earth and come and destroy destroy the innocent people here on planet Earth. I'm sorry. I'm afraid. 
in African spirituality, that cannot happen today and cannot happen tomorrow because the omnipresent, the omniscient in his or her state must have known that these my children on earth didn't do anything wrong to deserve this kind of punishment. So he wouldn't send Satan to go and destroy them, but rather he must make Satan powerless for everything to end there. But he allows Satan to come to earth, to come and destroy earth, destroy the innocent children. And later, as they said, he sent his only begotten son to come and suffer here again for us to be able to kill him before God will come and resurrect his only begotten son and took him away. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. This, this, there is an issue, there is a problem there because uh, if you, uh, Sambo, you cannot be able to throw something into your children that can, de that, yeah, that can destroy them, then that portion in the Bible, there must be a question mark because in the wisdom of God, such mistake can't happen. Okay, so let me ask this question. I left it behind, but you know, in Akan language, we say Sankofa uh, Huyenji. Let me ask, what would be the repercussion of someone who will rape a woman without the woman's, you know, willing? It is not a good thing. See, I said the energies holding this life is that of a female energy. So once you are going against the female energy, the creative energy, then you are destroying yourself because you are part of what she created. So why are you destroying her? Why are you making her uncomfortable? Why are you making her go through serious pain? So you are destroying your own self. Yes. Okay, Togi, uh, for time being, uh, we, I know there are a lot of questions and today is not the last day for us to do this interview. And we, we will come for another, you know, discussion on this same topic because there are a lot of questions that are supposed to ask concerning sex life. Uh, is it appropriate for people be, to be having sex in the bush and stuff? All for us and the importance of women. But since time is not on our side, we would like you to conclude and what it, what will be your final message for the for the world. Thank you. Uh, I am talking to the African women uh, and, and the women as a large. Every woman under the sun should take it upon themselves and know for sure that. Uh, Without them, this life is will be useless. So they have the creative energy. They have what it takes to transform this planet into a better place. Whatever thing we are going through today, I can say categorically, we are all suffering because our women has lost focus. They have lost track on who they are, what they are capable of doing. Since woman or women doesn't have understanding of a womanhood then the world is, is is in a serious crisis it's in a serious problem because should one woman one soul from them to develop should a woman just one of them should develop will be a better place the world will change so i am urging all of them to come back to the roots of african spiritual system come and go through the educational system, have contact with all the creative, all the female creative energies so that they can use it to transform themselves and probably use it to transform every other thing in this life. It is very important. So they should be ready and we are ready to go. Yes. Togi says you should be ready and we are, we are, we are ready to go. You know, uh, there, there is this thing that he won't allow me to voice it out, but I have to voice it out. He is a very educated man in terms of African spirituality. Uh, as I said earlier, he's not just someone who reads from book theory. He dives into the, you know, spiritual world, the inner world, to, to know the secret. And he's having centers uh, that he's educating women, to be able to know their purpose on this earth. The reason why he is saying that you are the creative energy. If you get close to him, you are going to get 
understanding of yourself and as i said earlier there is this african spirituality that we are you know throwing it out we are throwing away and it is important for you to uh, get back and pick all these energies and use it to help the world as i said a fan is still existing so if if you want to be an initiate i will leave his contact just call him and he will be the right person to initiate you to uh, a far uh, uh, you know Take them the educational system of the african spirituality yeah. whenever we say it's initiation people use the word initiation yeah, yeah. they think it is an occult it is an uh, it is it's something devilish it is something primitive something barbaric it is it is it is it is educational system to train our women to train our men for them to be able to know their existence so that they can be to be able to transform yeah this life that's it so when you, whenever you hear me say initiation not like aquatic initiation but rather you you put you through a educational system you go through training before you get to and uh, uh, we don't understand <laughs> yeah and the opus who who knew yansa opus who knew who opus what the intra was as as we are here and their friend is a your friend is a uh, initiation na here can but enye the bonim to say e bia okota e de kwa kwa she we mu unya friend and number na one di ne atwe go to to saw no ono na e adasa we na se nti ono twa ne short friend tasmo as uh, yes to to african spiritual movement yeah open knowledge about african spirituality yeah. this is the right person to come to uh, so far in this universe they they meet me akachi ono no o person we te abi brim ase na hunu se abi brim ampa ye wade Mart then no catch up on what is or Baba kun to me te nuhu asia or bit me change this whole universe because this whole cost making you know, depends on you women. And it was a man mosware waka. And it a man mema ye come wash. Mema come mash pa so it is time for women to stand and fight for their rights and go into uh, go within themselves and bring what has been hidden. Uh yeah becono media said that my camera man, ke wusu, I love uh, uh, your friend is a uh, the youngest high life and I uh, met that to to sawasi say and uh, what you mean about baby be a name is any actually and design on tv a tf win uh i think so now you are that's a uh more be our boy piano you the fact say and can interest you 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 know and he well yeah did you made any busy yeah come on you know bye Oh yeah.